Machines and vehicles are full of sensors. Sensors tend to have a high sensitivity to operating conditions. These conditions, however, should not affect the measurement values. So that's the reason why we thought that it was necessary to start a project to develop a methodology which allows to uh, have adaptive sensing in order to compensate for these varying operating conditions. Beckert is collaborating on the project, which was named AdSense. The steel wire producer is applying the methodology to production quality control. The sensors have become more intelligent through the use of new algorithms and operate more independently than before. Doordat de sensoren intelligenter worden en de machine daardoor intelligenter wordt, is er meer tijd over voor de operator voor zijn eigenlijke job uit te voeren. Dus hij moet zich niet meer bezighouden met met parametriseren van sensoren, uh, controleren van sensoren, omdat die functie uh, ingebouwd kan worden in het toestel zelf. Televic develops control systems for trains, among other things. Sensors on trains are subject to extreme conditions. The new algorithms ensure that the accuracy of the sensors remains optimal at all times. A typical example is when a train from a cold environment and tunnel runs. This gives an indication to a very high temperature shock, and that has an impact on the meetingness. Samen met Planders Make hebben we eigenlijk algoritmes ontwikkeld waardoor de gevoeligheid aan deze transities quasi wegvalt. The weaving looms that Picanol sells worldwide use sensors to check the correct movement of the thread during the production process. The uitdaging van dit project is om te gaan met heel veel verschillende omstandigheden. Je hebt heel veel rietrillingen die je beeld zwaar bezoedelen. Je hebt variërende lichtomstandigheden. Je hebt stof in een weverij. En vandaag registreren we reeds de aanwezigheid en de aankomsttijd van het garen. Maar de samenwerking van Vlaanders Make heeft ervoor gezorgd dat het algoritme breder inzetbaar is en dat het accurater is. The main conclusions from the project is that we can increase efficiency of the processes or the production machines. We can also increase the safety and the comfort in vehicles. And the third thing that is important also is that we can apply this methodology on low-cost sensors so that we can propose a low-cost solution to the final user.